Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to use Tally to create forms, online forms completely for free. This is one of the most simplest way to create forms. So this is about the simplest ways to create forms and it's completely free of charge and open source platform. So you have a lot of features that you can see. Um, for example, you can come down here and you have a demo of what they are going to do. A form builder like no other. Tally makes it simple for anyone to build online forms, no need for coding, just type your questions just like the way you do it in Microsoft Word or the about. You can see the sample, all you need is just a forward slash and you can add in every different kind of bullets or blocks to your forms and you can customize it as you move on. Okay, you can even add a calculator and you can have what we call piping where you can customize the form to really sound friendly for your own users to have them their names called while they are filling the forms. Okay, so all you need is just to start by logging in. Okay, so logging in, of course, you can log in with your email ad uh, address and password if you've registered before. If you've not, you can log in with your Apple account or with your Google account. So let me go ahead and log in with one of my, my Google accounts. And here we are. Okay, so once we're here, you can notice I have two forms already created. Okay, this is a registration form and this is a public speaking meeting um, form that I've created. Now, you have the option to start with templates okay there are series of templates which you can access from here and you'll be able to see them they are categorized into different forms these are registration forms contact forms um, lead, regen lead generation forms feedback form depending on what you're trying to create you can see fitness form product market fit user research and hiring os and, and so on uh, party planning you can so you can check around and you can search based on the category by my team you should be able to see if you have um, created one by your team you should be able to see it here and then this for creators basically you can have contact form registration forms web project enter questionnaire and you can have product forms you know user research feedback uh, customer feedback and so on product waiting list uh, client feedback so be so be you should you should be able to to have anyone depending on your choice marketing we have HR related and office related and personal related forms, depending on what you are actually trying to create. So if you want to go with the existing ones, you can just click on any one of them and you can have um, a preview of what they have. For example, this is an online trivia quiz. You can see what's the capital of Bulgaria. You have the option to choose. Actually, I don't know. So but you can customize this. And, and, if, and if you like this, you can just go ahead and say, use this form, use this template and you can customize it accordingly now let me show you what you need to put in to just create a fantastic form for yourself so the first thing is you have the main idea where you type the question just like the way you have the normal forms um, you can change anything so what is the capital of nigeria for example and then you can give the options accordingly um, you can change your options this is using um using we can just be hitting on enter to add in to, and you'll be adding different options for example and you can customize the existing ones just click and and then we can add different things okay so let's say this is uh we, we don't need the fourth option you can just delete on this and then over here um you can add another field if you are interested for example you can click on this and once you hit on the plus sign, you should be able to add different different kind of questions. For example, you can have long answer, short answer, multiple choice questions, check boxes, drop down, multi multi select questions, numbers, email. You can add different things. So let's say we'll go with short answer, and this is the form. This is how it's going to be. For example, what's your name? You can just insert this. And uh, let's say we have this. So let's say um, type your question here. What is your name? Okay, so assuming we want to start a trivia with this question, so you can drag here and make it at the top. You can make it to the top if that's what you're interested in. What's your name? And then you can start answering the questions as we move on. Okay, and as you answer the question, you should be able to see the score down here. Now, you can add different kind of fields. For example, over here, you can um, click on the plus sign again and you can add multiple choice. Uh, for example, over here, I can say, yes, this is the format I want. And I can just go ahead and hit on enter. And I can say which color is the symbol 
for peas. For example, and then we can have our options here white, and then we can have another option here black. Okay, so maybe this is what you want. And then down here, I can come over and add another thing. Um, you can just click and you can see you can have multiple choice or checkboxes. Let's say we'll go with checkboxes where you have multiple options, but then you have to choose the boxes. Um, this is normal way of creating forms. So you can have which of the following defines you. So for example, the option one is African, Asian, and maybe uh, Australia. For example, so you can just go ahead. Now, once you are building, you can keep building, you can continue to add the different sections uh, to the form. And down here, you have other other questions. For example, what is hip -hop's, hip hop's favorite pastime? Okay, so you can see the, the options over here. Even this one included some, some um, pictures. Okay, you can see down here, they've added some things to this. Okay, so these are trivias, but then with questions. Now you can have... Um, the congratulatory options, the congratulatory message. Um, uh, you can add your score. Your score is this, and that is going to be based on the score you have. Okay, uh, it's going to calculate your score based on the answers that you have gotten right and wrong. There about. Okay, so this is very basic. And then you can have um, Boma try again, and then your score is. They can give you a score over thirty or over fifty or there about, depending on how many questions you have, and you can always add in your thank you message okay if you want to add a thank you message you can add or if you don't want you can remove now another thing is you can customize this submit button you can click to customize it uh, for example i can say submit your options your work and then once you hit on uh hit out if you click on this uh, during the form submission you can see this button as submit your work okay so you can always preview over here and you see the form that you have you can see it and you can move to the next page from this page for example if i put my name as Dr. Rashid, and then we have these options so you can go ahead and click and click and click and just go to the next and you go to the next there about you have to be selecting and then you keep going to the next um Okay, so you can see your score is 10 by 30. So it's very easy to create forms over here. So let's go back to the editor. And this is from a template. So you can always come back um, to the home and you'll be able to see what forms you have created. You can create new workspace to work on a new workspace or a new project. You can go ahead or you can create new forms directly. If you want to create from scratch, it's also the same process. You can create from scratch. Now you have to give your form a title. Let's say this is some um, registration form for a wedding. Okay, so down here you can press enter to start from scratch, which is what I'm going to do. So let's say what is your name. So you can hit the forward slash to have access to all of these questions. Um, let's say we have short question. What is your name? Now, in this, you have this space to add your answer, and then you can come down here and just add another one. You can say multiple choice. Uh, this is what I want. Um, where are you from? Okay, option one, Zaria. Option two, Australia. Option three, Kaduna, for example. Okay, so you can come down also and add more. Right, you can click on the plus sign again if you have any other thing that you want to add. For example, I want to add a phone number. Yeah, this is the, uh, what is your phone number? You can just go ahead and insert. You can say, what is your phone number? Okay, so if, for example, during the forms, I want to add a long answer. For example, at this point, I want to add a long answer and I need to recall your name. That's what we call the piping. So I can say, um, based on your info, um, Abdul Rashid. So I can say at and I can refer to a particular name. What is your name? Of course, you're going to type your name here. So I can say, what is your name? Give me advice on life um, challenges. 
certificate so you can see now this is now going to refer directly to your name and then over here let's customize this and say uh click to submit all right so we are done here so for example there are many more things you can do to this simple form you can add logo to this the see now we've added our logo you can add a cover to this you can see you've added a cover but you can change the cover from here you can use upload from your system and you can link it up if you have an e um a link that contains the cover image and then you can use on splash of course if you have um, any specific one that you are interested in for example in this my own case we can go with something very very direct and very simple let's go with something like this and you can see we have a beautiful and you can reposition this if you want to reposition it to a specific place okay very easy and then you can change uh, and add the logo also you can add it with the link or you can upload directly if that is what you are interested in for example i have this quiz match logo i can just add it and you can see oh, we just simple um, adding i've added everything and you have different designs you can have different designs you can make it dark um, light or custom that goes with your system or you can add your own custom uh, color from here based on what you have okay based on your brand you can design another color to your own okay so this is about this and if you're okay with this banner you can just save the position and it becomes your banner now let's preview this so that we can see what we have just created with this form you can go ahead and click on preview and you can see once i type my name over here after i should so it's going to notice that I've tagged my name as Aprochit and to make it friendly we use that piping you can see based on your info Aprochit give me advice on life challenges that's the one that's okay it has created this and you can just go ahead what's your name where you from and what is your phone number da, 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 da. you can just uh, type in your phone number and you can select your country down here are uh, very easy and you can just type in your information uh, give me advice be happy always okay so you can see click to submit and once you click this phone number is invalid uh, so let's say i have nigerian phone number okay so let's say i have this and i can just go ahead and submit and you can see thanks for submitting this form now made with tally uh, this this is the thank you message that you are going to see okay so let's go back to the form and once we are here in the form you can go back to the home and you can be able to see your submission this is the one we have um, but because we've not published it we cannot see any response based on this so let's say we click on publish and this form is now live so being live you can copy the link and share with your people to join or to to fill the form directly and be able to access their response so these are submissions people who have submitted you'll be able to see their responses here and you'll be able to see the summary of what you have they have submitted and integrations you can integrate this with lots of other tools it's very free and you can integrate it with all of these tools uh, google sheets notion uh, Airtable, make coda uh, and, and, and so much more you can see all of them over here so let's um, co go back to share let's copy the link and now let's try to see how we can paste it somewhere for example i can paste it here and hit on enter and you can see my form well created i can just give my name dr rashid for example and you can see zaria here the phone number here let's see this the phone number and then i can see remember your friends okay so click on submit and i have submitted the form now let's go back to the main submission and then we can be able to see our submissions this is under the form registration form for a wedding and you can see the submission that i have just now you can analyze and see the summary of what we have submitted this is the summary of what people have submitted you'll be able to see all their submissions listed here okay so and then you can talk about integrations and other things like settings and so on so it's very cool and it's very easy to use you can just go ahead you can refer back you can always edit you can copy the link and share with people it's robust and very very easy to work with okay you can share your work and you can always come back to the home and do many many other things these are this is the same public speaking um, meeting that i have created and you can see the submissions uh, all they are about you can just experience it it's wonderful
So this basically concludes this basic tutorial about the use of Tally uh, for you to create your own online forms. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Bye.